Hey guys, this is Apollo here, and today I'm doing an unboxing and review of the Nendrite Neurobican version 1.22 Emil. Alright, here is the box itself. Well, I, again, I didn't really expect to get Emil because, well, first of all, but for some reason, I don't know why, but the um, Emil, the pre order for Emil to the, to the shop I usually go to wasn't really there. So, like, I've expected a pre-order for Emil well, coming out like last year or something, but unfortunately it didn't happen in the store, at least in the store I go to, so they didn't carry the pre-order, so I had to, I had to switch out to different stores to get this uh, Android. But you know what, I still have, happy to have it anyway, so that's pretty good, I guess. So yeah, um, here's Emil. Um, he's a very unique Android. I mean, it's not the usual that you would see usually in stores. Like, this, He's a very special Android, I would say. So, he was probably the most unique Android in my collection. I would just put it put it out there because, well, first of all, he did no exchangeable face, and second of all, his 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 form form looks so unique that I think he, it will stand out all out of all the Androids in my collection. So without further ado, let's go unboxing. So yep, yeah, okay, here is the box. Pretty neat. Uh, it costs a lot, but you know what? It's fine. As long as, long as he's happy, that, that's most important part. So here we have Emil. You got the staff. Uh, you got the little tier, which is pretty neat. Um, not a lot of stuff in here, but I've, I'm not sure how how um, this guy will work. And yeah, you can actually take off his uh, cloak if you can reveal a skeleton body, which is pretty weird, but it is, it is what it is. So inside you have the assemblance, which you can space to do his magic powers, I guess. Uh, here's a picture. Here's a picture of him holding the little tear, and you can even detach his head off, just like just like in the ending. So and probably this one will look like later on in the in your automata. Spoilers, spoilers. Alright, so without further ado, and there's a the bottom. Yes, yeah, a little thing done, but yeah. Yeah, so without further ado, let's open the Nendroid. So. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Alright, so. Opens up. And. In the box, we do get. Alright, so in the box. Not, oh, that, that is not a lot of stuff. I just realized. Wow, okay. Um, that, I think this is which is a good thing because I don't think I don't want to lose any parts along the way. Come on, but he's a really interesting android. So, again, you have a um, oh okay. I'm just going to check real quick if anything's messed up. I'm just checking. Give me a moment. I'm just checking what is being it. Okay, looks so far looks fine. So okay, so in the box you you've got mill, got staff, dinner tier, some extra extra uh. Arm pieces, and you got the stand and the uh, the assembly stand with an extra extra neck. Oh wow! Okay, this is this is new. Okay, I've I never I've never seen an extra anything like that. Fair enough, and it's stand and everything. So in the back here, oh wait, before that, you do get the manual of, of Emil himself, which is really neat. And in the back, of course, just like in Android, you do get these uh, effect parts, so you can you can display how you like, which I'm not gonna do, but you get my point. So, all right, let's open, let's, let's just open up the mail real quick. Yeah, there he is. He is pretty cute. I mean, it's creepy, creepily cute, I would say. And, oh, you can you can, you can even change his face. Okay, that's interesting, but I've never seen anything like that. Okay. Alright, so I'll stop here, I will uh, take out everything and prepare everything, and I'll get you a better review. Alright, I've got Emil in packaging, fill it out a bit, and I'll say, okay, first of all, this Nendroid is a pretty unique unique looking one, what I would say. So, yeah, I mean, he's not the usual Android, I will give it that. So, yep, yeah, I mean, it's pretty neat, I mean, it's pretty nice, I really love it. And, funny enough, I just realized, uh, the, the, standing, the standing console is smaller than the uh, Nendroid that came beforehand, so, yeah, I mean, it, I mean, usually the, like two B nine S A two and near, they're still really big, but Emil is pretty small. I mean, it's to be expected because Emil doesn't do much in, in the game other than you know helping out near really. So yeah, I mean, it it is what it is. I mean, I'll give it that. So okay, now before I, okay articulation is well, I mean, this is not usually an Android plus uh okay, uh I'll say right now the head is, I guess sort of a main problem is. With this, with this a figure, I mean, because okay, first of all, okay, um, you know the Emil's head can detach, so that it can be displayed on its own. But the problem with that is that, okay, okay, instead of a, the usual Nendroid joint, which okay, I'll just show you right now. Instead of the usual Nendroid joint, which is like a hinge system, it's more of a ball joint system like this. So here's the problem. 
because the the ball joint is so shallow in between the body the body and the head, the head and the head comes off way too easily. So I am not sure how much how okay. If you don't touch the head, it's gonna be fine. But if you're gonna fit around with it, this thing will come out. And heck, if you drop it, it's gonna be a big pain in the butt. So um, I would say if you get a mill, do be careful not to fiddle around with the head too much because. I mean, that's at least for my finger. I'm not sure about you guys if you have, have this problem, but at least with my mill, the head does come off a little bit too easily. So that is a bit of a concern for me. And I guess, um, like, I said, like I said, I mean, I'm not sure if it's just like that or it's just, it's just my finger. I'm not sure, but it's it is okay, I guess. I mean, it's fine. I mean, he looks pretty cute. Well, it's creepy cute, I would say. And okay, and well, the cool thing is, if you want to get make way, you can actually open a cloak like this, so you can put the accessory here you like. Speaking of accessories, well, first of all, you do get, uh, for, for, uh, hand options, uh, if I can out, first of all, you do get two bent arms, which can hold staff, which I'll show in a bit. Uh, yep, you can, you can just plug it out, and it's pretty easy to get out as well, I just couldn't think about it. So, yeah, you guys stand, you get the hands to move. You've got, uh, okay, where is it? There, oh, 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 it's covered, whoops, uh, okay, there we go. Give it one real quick, alright, so. This other hand part, which is which is meant to hold the lunar tier, which is just comes with the figure, and then the his other accessory is basically the his staff, which yeah, I mean you can be hold hold and such, and of course last of all you get the lunar tier, which is really I mean, pretty pretty nice and detailed, nice painting. I'll say I'll say for that, and you also get this, which is meant to um. Display semblance, which is the only effect part, which I, which I already showed in the, just on the unboxing. Now let's go. Let's get a uh, meal uh, prepared real quick. So I will. Okay, you know what? Let's let's. Okay, see what I mean? The head is really easy to come off. Well, after a little bit of fiddling, well, I think I got, the, got him on the stand. So actually, the cloaks are easier, easier to take out than expected. Than expected. So yeah, if you want to display a meal the cloak, it is possible. I would say. So yep, uh, that's that is I mean, that's all. That's all I could say. About. I mean, it's not a lot that comes with this Nendroid meal. I would say so. Oh uh, yeah, I mean it is a well, it isn't very nice the main Nendra, I'll say, but even though so, I'll, I'll explain more in a bit when I do when I come to the conclusion. So accessories, well, you got the staff and the interior, which one is pop with hand, you, mean, you can do that. But overall, it's it well accessories are well, it, it is what it is, and it's what what, what Emil all comes with, so I am okay with that. Of comparisons, well, I have to bring you himself, the the guy itself, near. Yep, well, I, I've never, never compared another side by side, so yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, that, this is what it is, so, yep. Take away, take away, let's see here. And I'm gonna bring my Arcs and just compare with Shim's size comparison. So, yeah, that's the review. Alright, that's the review of the Nendroid Emil. Now, I gotta say, well, even though this Nendroid is, well, for, for, oh, I'll give it a that. It's a very unique Nendro. I've never seen any Nendro like this before. Um, I'm gonna say, well, it is a little bit underwhelming because, well, first of all, not because it comes with less accessories, but the fact that, okay, I'll, I'll say this right now. This Nendro is pretty good, like, nice. Presenting looks, aesthetic looks really nice. But the problem, the major problem I faced this kid, this, this uh, figure is the head. The head does not, like, stay on that well. So, I would say, okay, I mean, I've known, okay, I, I understand that Emil's head is really round and spherical, and yeah, it does have that, uh, uh, the ball just is easier to take it out so you can fit it on its own. But the problem with that is that, like I mentioned in the review, it comes off way too easily. So, I don't really like that. I really wish to use, use the normal Nendoid gen, which was even more secure, if you like, personally ask me. I mean, if you, yeah, you just take it out, it's, it's, it's still fine, I would say. But, I wish they engineered the neck joint a little bit better so that the head stays a little easier. In fact, you know, as you see here right now, the scarf actually just floats there. It's not held by anything. Basically, just sandwiched between the head and the body, and it just stays there. It doesn't really like stay there. It just floats there, really. But yeah, it's it's an okay Nendra. I'm not saying it's the, the worst Nendra I had in my collection, but it's 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 still very good. It's still a decent Nendra, as just just by itself, really. So overall, do I recommend this Nendroid? Well, if you like Nier or if you like a mill himself, since yeah, I mean, Emil is the mascot of Nier. So if you like a mill, then yeah, go for it. But 
uh, to be honest, yeah, to be honest, if you want a Nintendo that's very unique and you know has a lot, of, it looks different. And I don't. Well, I mean, there are better options out there. I'm not saying this is the worst one out there, but it's. I won't say I wouldn't recommend it. But if you like near, if you like, you know, go for it. If you like, want some, if you want a Nendroy that could, that's like that, that could be, you know, that could do better than this. I mean, yeah. What, what I'm saying is like. Well, I mean, for the same price you get, you can get an Android that has even more accessories and does better. So this one, well, even though I am happy to have a middle collection, I would say, yeah, there's sort of better options on it. But I mean, if you're like even near near a mill, go for it. So overall, it's an okay in Android. It's it is what it is. So yeah, that's it for you guys. Thanks for watching this review and unboxing, and stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.